Hey, what's going on shooters? Welcome back to the Shooters Resource Channel. Today we're going to be looking at the HK VP9L. This is the 2020 Optics Ready version. It's a great pistol, but before we get started, go ahead and take a second, hit that like and subscribe button, support the channel. All right. The HK VP9L. This was a gun that was very sought after by many shooters out on the market, including myself. Uh, I stayed up many late nights looking, trying to find one of these, and they were nowhere to be found a year ago. Uh, they're just very tough to find. And all of a sudden, uh, with the 2020s uh, coming out and the gun market kind of getting caught back up, they started showing up in different places. And I've seen complete guns out there, uh, and then also I was able to find the slide only on gun broker and got it for 399 which is kind of the msrp but uh a year ago man these things were going for 800 dollars. you know crazy prices on gun broker uh, just for the slide alone but i got the slide assembly sent to me and uh it fast shipping got it in it uh attached very well to my frame works very well it has these suppressor height sights that are really nice nothing wrong with that it's got kind of a green uh, front sight and uh, they work really well you got this aggressive ledge there so that you can rack the slide off of just anything you can get it on but let's talk a little bit about the gun overall the vp9 l so again this is the 2020 version it's optics ready it's got the optics uh, cover there but you have to buy the plates individually and, uh, you know, a lot of folks don't appreciate that, neither do I. I think that anybody that, that provides the optic plates should actually have some standard uh, plates that come with it. And maybe some specialty ones you have to order. But uh, it's always nice when they're included and they're not, at least on the slide assembly I got. But I don't believe they are for the uh, complete gun either. Now, by ordering just the slide, I didn't get their Extendo magazines, the 20 rounders that come with uh, the actual VP9L if you buy it as a complete gun. But I have plenty of these 17 rounders uh, around, so not a big deal. And uh, I really like them, uh, they work well. I'm not a big extended magazine kind of person anyway. You know, I don't shoot USPSA and. Uh, I just like flush fit magazine 17 rounds is good enough for me so you know maybe uh maybe i'll pick one up if i can get it for a good price but i really don't care to have the extended magazines all right if you're not familiar with the vp9 as a whole i do have a review a full review on the vp9 and it's a great platform it's definitely one of my favorite platforms uh, that i've come across a lot of people complain, oh, it's got a high bore access, and a lot of people love the ergonomics. And I'm going to tell you the high bore access on this gun does not impact me. I'm able to shoot it very, very fast. And there's a few different reasons why. Uh, number one, again, the modular grip panel system here. You have side plates and back plates with the VP9 series. And because you get three side plates, left hand and right hand, uh, three each and three rear plates all of them can be changed on however you see fit that's 27 different combinations that you can achieve uh, through there so very customizable the texturing on it is not super aggressive uh, there is uh, some decent texturing but it's not super aggressive but it works and uh, you know the controls number one they do have uh, the standard American style mag release. However, this is the European style, and I really like the European style. I have no problem with it. It's like when I transition over to this gun, I don't even have to think about hitting the mag release. It's just still right there kind of where the mag button is. And so for me, there is no learning curve about, you know, the magazine release. So I wouldn't worry about that. I never have picked this gun up, even if it's been six months since I've shot it and just fumbled when I went to go hit the mag release. It's just right there where the where the button normally is anyway. And I really like the option uh, that I can hit it with my trigger finger and that it's ambi. So I really like the European mag release. As a matter of fact, for me, I prefer this over a standard mag release. 
And that's not everybody, but that's how I feel. The slide release on this gun is amazing as well. The location and the size uh, is just great. The size of the slide release, it's very liberal, very easy to get to, and it's ambi. So uh, you can't complain there. Both sides, very easy to get to. You don't have to break your grip. So I love the slide release on the VP9 series. Another thing that uh, h &K did right was the takedown on this gun. It's just got this simple lever here, and all you have to do, uh, first remove the magazine, and then you just bring the lever down, and the slide will come right off. You don't have to pull the trigger. Very easy, and the same for putting it back on. Just, uh, Slide it back, and boom, ready to rock and roll. So very easy to get apart. Now on this long slide version, you'll see that they do have the cocking ears, just like on the traditional VP9. And I really like the cocking ears uh, right here. In addition to the serration, it just makes sure that you get a really positive grip when you go to rack the slide. So uh, I think that's pretty innovative on their part. I like them on the VP9 as well, so I have no problem there. You can remove those, but you do have to remove the rear side if you'd like to remove them. The gun has lightning cuts on here, so the slide has been milled, and that reduces the overall weight, plus they look cool, and they act as front serrations. So uh, kind of the trifecta there in terms of lightning cuts uh, for the gun. They look good. They work as cocking serrations and they lighten the slide, reducing felt recoil, or at least reducing the amount of weight that is moving back in recoil when you fire the gun. Looking at the barrel, this barrel here is a, a pretty cool barrel because it has the famous O-ring from H&K. And I got a couple extra O-rings uh, when I got this slide assembly. And that O-ring is to help ensure a nice tight lockup for the barrel. So really, if you look at what's driving accuracy uh, with a gun is, if this barrel has a lot of movement in it, uh, when the slide locks up, then it could be in a different position very slightly each time that the slide cycles. And because your sights are on your slide, if the barrel is in a different position, that could lead to inaccuracies. So that bushing, the little O-ring there, that helps ensure that there's a tight lockup for the barrel every time. And I'll tell you, you know, I don't know if it's the O-ring or not, but accuracy with his gun was no problem. It's a very, very accurate gun. Another thing to note on the VP9 is, and this is on all VP9s, is you have a loaded chamber indicator. And really this just tells you whether or not the striker has been engaged but uh, cuz you can cuz I don't have a loaded uh, chamber right now but uh, as you're holding the gun you know that the striker has been engaged that means that the slide has been racked back and the trigger is ready to fire now there's no bullet in here but that's fine uh, you do have the extractor painted red so if we take a dummy round that doesn't have a primer and we insert it in you'll see that the extractor sticks out just a little bit and it's a little red so that's your loaded chamber indicator you can fill it as well so the extractor acts as a loaded chamber indicator I think that always makes good sense because a lot of different uh, firearms including Glock uh, or pistols they do that and so it's a common point of reference and so why not have the extractor protrude a little bit, you know, when the chamber's loaded? The VP9 is best known for its trigger, and the 2020 series doesn't disappoint. They have great triggers. Now on this one, I do have a Lazy Wolf trigger, and it's the same factory springs, but just a flat trigger on here. I did get the trigger from H&K Parts, the trigger springs, and swapped them out. For me, it was just a little bit too light for what I wanted to use the gun for. They were, they did feel really good and all that, but 
I really like the weight and feel of the factory springs, so I put them back in the gun and, uh, and just stuck with the flat face trigger. But I do like that Lazy Wolf trigger, and I do have a review of it, and I'll place the link in the description as well as at the top of the screen. You do have a 1913 Picatinny rail here, and so that makes finding lights, lasers, whatever you want to put on there very easy. In terms of speed, I was able to run this gun just as fast as any of my other guns. I was able to run a build drill in two seconds flat, so that's pretty fast for me. I was very, very pleased with that, and that was actually the first build drill of the day, so it's a good way to start off the day getting warmed up with, uh, with this pistol. Let's check out this trigger here on the VP9L. So first of all, it's a little bit of a take up, but you hit a very, very firm wall. And with about 3 16th, 3 16th of an inch of travel, you get a clean break. Let's look at the reset. Really positive, springing my finger forward. And I come back to a wall and 3 16th of an inch and then break. Reset again. Yeah, so you're essentially just coming forward about a quarter of an inch and then back. And the trigger on the VP9 is really great. I think it's coming in, it feels like sub five. It might be right at five pounds, but it's just a great trigger. And they're really well known for that. The, the VP9s and the Walthers are known for their triggers. And I'm gonna tell you, you really don't even need this Lazy Wolf aftermarket trigger. I do like the flat face trigger, but I would be fine with just the, the factory. So again, about a quarter inch of take up, very little weight. You hit a very positive wall and three sixteenths of an inch and then a clean break. No over travel. It's just a great striker fire trigger. That trigger and the ergonomics of the grip are what just allow you to run this gun incredibly fast. All in all, this is a great pistol. It's a beautiful gun. Uh, I love the H&K VP9 series. I've done reviews on the VP9 uh, SK, which is a great gun as well. And these are some of my earlier reviews. And then just the standard VP9. If you're in the market for a full-size handgun, that you can use for competition, self-defense, or just on the range, go ahead and check out the VP9L. It's a great pistol. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and take a second, hit that like and subscribe button, support the channel. And also, if you're interested in any of the gear used today, go ahead and check out some of the affiliate links in the description. As always, thank you all and God bless.